If I had to catch a boar to kill and eat a boar, I think I'd be a lot skinnier because I can't run at all. And these guys are fast. So, much respect to the old boar. Quick sons of bitches. Okay. Okay. Behind me, the greatest city in the world, Toronto. You ever heard of it? I'm here to talk to you about Ontario farmers, Perth pork, Iron Age pigs, YU ranch, Texas longhorns. I'm gonna invite my really good friends from Town Moto to come to my parents' house in Dorchester and cook a massive barbecue. You like motorcycles? They own motorcycle shops. I'm gonna be cooking amazing beef, amazing pork with the people I love the most, my family and friends. This is the six. The six. It's Toronto. F you. There's no swearing. There's no swearing. There's no. F There's no. F you. I live in Parkdale. It's kind of sketchy. Pretty cutty. I keep my bike chained up in the backyard to keep it safe. Parkdale. Woo woo. I'm probably the worst rider in Toronto, but I still like riding my dirt bike around. Shout out to the Town Moto crew for holding me down. So I'm here at Town Moto and these guys are a and they think they know everything about motorcycles, but yet they are still my best friends. And I'm here to invite them to a barbecue. Watch out for the roller skater. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tight Good. fit. Tight fit. Nice. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting a lot of meat and some pork from some farms in Ontario, and I'm gonna cook them at my parents' house. You know, and I would love it for you guys to come. I'll come. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Please. Do you wanna come? Thank you. Marika I've known since early 2000. She's put up with a lot of garbage. I have a tab here at the store. Sometimes yeah. I pay it, sometimes I just don't. don't. Or he just steals product and walks out with it. Maybe the only I don't steal person. Maybe you don't I, have the glasses. Person. I told sunglasses. you that I needed sunglasses. And you put them on and left. <laughs> I was notifying the taking of the sunglasses. That's a normal, like, purchasing scenario. <laughs> For friends. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you don't have to come to the barbecue. Apparently, barbecue invites aren't worth nothing. So now, I gotta take the Town Moto crew to my favorite restaurant. Gold Dust Woman. Yeah. Ride safe and ride hard! <laughs> Broke a pair of sunglasses, but I'm here. See, now I need to get another pair of sunglasses. Okay, well, let's see. Looks beautiful in here. Smells beautiful. Chef, how are good you? Good to see you. How are you, man? You okay. good? Yeah. Thanks for having us. How are you? Where are your friends here? This is Marika and Marika. Vic. How are you? Vic, Vic Grant. I owe them a lunch, and I wanted to bring them to my favorite store, food store, Thank you. restaurant. Thank you. Barbell. Pincho party. Pincho party. That's right. So we just wanted to check out some pinchos. Awesome. You got the quail eggs with the boudin. Mm -hmm. You got the cheesecakes. Right. You got everything. Dinner restaurant for breakfast. Dinner restaurant for breakfast. We wanted to do away with the seats. Yeah. Everyone's body language is open and social and you know people share food here. This place is whatever you want to make it. We don't cook food, we create experiences. Yeah. Me and Grant, we're gonna go check out some pinchos in the kitchen and then we'll bring them out to the pedestrians out here. You're with Val? Oh, thank you. Let's make some pinchos, bro. Let's do it. So the plancha. This well, is this is essential. This is Spanish essential. This is all you need really to cook anything. Everything gets cooked on the plancha. Seafood, meat, vegetables. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of color, you know? Oh my god. So then we're gonna get the eggs going, okay? Let's take that off like that. Boom. Okay, boom. Right in the bacon fat. We just wanna go right there. 
Okay. Oh boy, we're cooking here. We're, we're cooking. not. We're not. We're not. We're not too finicky here. You know, this one I screwed up. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's no good? Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot, chef. Yeah, okay, we want to clean the grill a bit, right? See, even the best chef in the entire world, like Brand Van Gameren over here, <laughs> up a quail egg. That's right. I can't believe I'm massaging at Bar Raval. It's so incredible. My dreams are finally coming true. Pinchos. Pinchos. You know what a pincho is. A pincho? I'm thinking you pinch it with your hands and you eat it. Uh, no, so pincho means spike. Spike? Okay, spike, oh. so spike. Too thick. Super simple, just yeah. a little spicy guendilla. And we just wrap that in there, okay? This is perfect. I must say these are some of the best looking eggs we've had here. We're gonna do uh, a little bit of piquillo pepper. Piquillo okay. peppers, okay. very right. famous from Spain. That's right. Look at this, bread. The pepper, the bacon, the sausage, eggs. Don't hit the yolk, thank you, chef. Oh, never. Oh. It's a little bit of flair, you know? This is it. This is the you pinchos. Know, this is. Look at this. Are you f kidding me? Are you f kidding me? See this right here? It's my breakfast. Spain. <laughs> Toronto. By my buddy Grant over here. Delicious. So I'm having a barbecue at my folks' place in Dorchester outside of London. And so, YU Ranch is pretty close to there. It's in Norfolk County. Okay, yeah. I'm going to Perth Pork and I'm going to YU Ranch, and they have Texas Longhorns, 100% grass fed. The meat is like aquatic. The grass fed, it's like lean and lots of flavor, right? It's amazing. Nice and rare, beautiful, some brown butter on it, some sea salt. Mm. That's all you need. This is the best ham you can get. This is the, the best ham. For sure. So, you gotta, like, you know, you get gotta, in you there. Want, you wanna hug there, okay? Okay, that, go, like okay here, there. let's do this together. Hold me, let's guide my hand. It's like a scene out of Ghost. This is it. Okay? Oh boy. Yamon. Hamon. Hamon. Sounds like a dude you're gonna get laid on ecstasy with. <laughs> hey! We made you pinchos. We made you pinchos. You can have some of these. So we're gonna grab some pastries. Yeah, why don't you grab some stuff on the bar? Check this out. We got some some croissants with some ham. This is pincho time. We're at the best restaurant in the world called Bar Raval. Ever heard of it? Probably. Check out Blog TO's Top 100. They're number one. Number five on En Route, though. That's a shame. Shout out to number five. Ah! Grant, try better, you That's a beautiful food. When you throw a big barbecue, you need a lot of meat. My first stop is YU Ranch, a two-hour drive southwest of Toronto. YU is a certified locally sustainable ranch that specializes in 100% grass-fed Texas Longhorn beef. This is some of the best beef you can buy in all of Canada, and it happens to be owned by one of my old friends. <laughs> you came back. What's up? Nice to see you, brother. You good? How are you? I'm fine, yeah. Where's Ka there she is. Hey, Kathy. We got the pretty one and we got the uh, the worker, the laborer. That's good, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're out here in Norfolk County at YU Ranch where these guys are raising beautiful Texas Longhorns in a beautiful Ontario ranch. We got work for you to do. You got some work? Yes, sir. I don't like work, I like no, seeing. No, no, it's real, it's for real. It's Come for real. On. We, we no need job. your help. Let's get to it. You, you. Let's go check this out, Brian. You make noises and claps. I know how to do it. You've That's taught right. me. Now I'm gonna get to show you guys my ranching skills. I have a certain type of voice, you know? I have my mother's voice. So uh, it's nice that uh, this is what I was meant to do. Here they come, baby. Here they come. Nothing looks cooler than a Texas Longhorn. I don't know what other cows there are, but Texas Longhorns are, yeah. They are extremely efficient at converting grass into protein that you can eat. Right. They're the best at that. All we do is we put a fence out, make sure the grass grows, and look, this is all that results. They stay out here year round. Yeah. You value everything they do. You value how hard working they are. You value the fact that the coyotes sit at the edge of the fence and just only look in drooling. Yeah. They don't dare come in. No. They're gonna get the bull with the horns. And actually they don't just get the hook. They do the whole the whole squishing thing. They they squish them. They do. They run over it with the whole herd. They turn yeah. around, come back, and run over again. They, like, trample coyotes. Don't f with the Texas exactly. Longhorn Squad. Exactly. They will murk out any f coyotes. It's a beautiful thing. What does murk out mean? Murk, like kill. Bang, bang. Okay. Now it's time to go do the work. We got to do some work now. Yeah, so we had a calf got orphaned about a week and a half ago. Okay. You so mean, the mama the mama passed away. Yeah, but you're My about mom? the right... Right size? Sort of, yeah. Are you saying I'm the right size? I'm the same size as a... 
I didn't really say that, but okay. you, you know, she, the calf might think, think that... Think I'm the mama? Yeah. Okay. It'll be perfect. No, I don't no, have any no. milk. I'll give you the milk. You have stuff. milk. Okay. Do you have milk? I'll get you a bottle of milk. You're strong, aren't you? This ranch is strong. <laughs> it's got pectoral muscles. Ranch is strong. You smell the inside of my truck. Well, it smells like a man, that's for sure. Yes. It smells like something. Just out here. Why are you ranch milking my calves? Just being the big mama cow. Don't need to get poked in the rear. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here. He, he knows, he knows you're out. They used me up. All I'm good for is my milk. You know what? You can name him. Can I name him? Forever. Forever? And he'll probably become the biggest bull on the ranch ever. Is that he'll a guy? Famous. Yeah, he's a guy. We're, he's a we're dude. Gonna... <laughs> Meow. Well, that cow's a little nasty, so come this way. Yeah. I don't need to get hooked. I don't need to get gorded in the ass by these Texas Longhorns. I did my job. I learned about the cows. Now, what's what, what, is it lunchtime? I worked really hard. I I I, I cow whispered. I think it's lunchtime. I, think I it's got lunchtime. the milk. I think it's lunchtime. I think it's lunchtime. We're about to go eat. Some, what, what 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 do you got for lunch? Chili dogs. We got chili dogs made with YU beef. We have beef. We got beef on rye. On rye. Smoke. Ooh. Well, from the mother's tit. I'm Maddie Matheson. We're gonna go get some lunch. You're athletic too. Wow. Okay. Glad Agile. All, glad Not all, just a pretty face. I'm glad all my cows can't climb like you. Well, I know. I roll in, feeding the babies, walking in. The cows just love me. They love me. And now we get to cook them. No. It's a crazy thing, you know. Chef, the color's so beautiful. It's a beautiful red. Oh, well, thank you, Brian. You know, when I'm cooking product next to the rancher, I don't really want to f it up, do I? No, no, I don't. This is real life. Me, with the pot. Oh, with the big stick. Come on. I'm 100% going to eat this. That's incredible. Give me a bite. Yeah. Oh. I need another bite. Oh. oh my God! Brian never disappoints. Hey Maddie. Oh, before you go, he hooked me up with all the fully aged ribeye steaks I came for. Bye. All right, bye, Hawaii Ranch. Okay. Next stop, Perth Port a farm about an hour and a half northwest of YU Ranch. I'm here at Perth Pork. I'm gonna hang out with my buddy Fred. Check out his iron ages and his wild boar. Come with me. Ripping around on the quads is pretty tiring. I look pretty cool doing it. Ah! So I had to take a break, sit on the tire, underneath the tree, and that's when something amazing happened. I found something for you. You found something? What is it? It looks like a chipmunk. That ain't no chipmunk. Look at this. Oh, look at this little guy. A little baby wild boar, oh, probably about two boar. days old. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Hello, baby. Ooh, her little legs. Her little legs are so strong. Yeah, this little guy ran out underneath the uh, the gate, I think. Yeah. And uh, couldn't find his way back in, so he was squealing and squealing, and we found her. Back, so we found her. Every little baby wild boar gets a little hug, a little kiss, a little bit of love. This thing's beautiful. Yeah, they are. My little buddy. If I was gonna name this one, I'd name him Bokus. Circle of life. Kumbaya! <laughs> We've got this cute little baby boar, but obviously it needs to go back to its mama. So we took it back to its pet. Where's it going? He's getting, he's getting a little more brave now. I know. Oh, he just went into the field. Should we go get it? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> This thing's snaky. 
I put it into the pen, and then it runs out of the pen. I take it out, I put it back into the pen, it runs out of the pen. The fence is shit. Fred, what are you doing, man? Okay. Oh, there you go. There we go. Returned her to home safely. Look at them. There's the two of them. Yeah, look. Yeah. Just right back in there with their little brothers and sisters. Now they're happy. Hey, little buddies. Cuckoo! What's up? Well, these guys are the original pig. Right. Like they're they're not native to North America. They've been uh, imported from Europe. Europe, okay. And these are from like Germany, from like the Black yeah, Forest. Germany. Yeah, the Black yeah. Forest. Yeah. This guy's itchy. Scratch that itch, bro. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see that you got a lot of black walnuts over here. Yeah. Everyone's so aware of what their animals are eating, right? Like some of the most expensive hams like all over the world, those pigs are just fed acorns and black walnuts and all that kind of stuff. So you're cultivating that feeding pattern of creating some of the best products in the world here in Ontario, right? Right. But you gotta come up with products that match the chef's level. Well, the chef's only as good as the product he's cooking usually, so it's yeah. gotta start somewhere. That's right. So we like to start it here on the farm. It's amazing. So why don't we go check out some uh, Iron Age? All right. Woo. Follow me. We're about to show you the coolest pig you've never seen before. It's called an Iron Age. It's a crossbreed between wild boar and Tamworth. Our man Fred here makes the coolest pigs ever. Check that guy out. Do you feel him? Do you see him? Realize what's happening here. Hold on. Okay. Sus is It's like Leo in Titanic, except my hot babe is a rusty pig cage. That's gonna be the pig that I get to take home and cook. That's your Iron Age pig. Let's get it. Woo! Fred's a freak. Now. Now, kick off. Yeah. Wow! Atta boy. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's how you get into a pig pen. Okay, I'm gonna wrangle this pig with this, this uh, plywood thing. So uh, here we go. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Wow, wow, okay, wow. Oh, uh, ah! Okay, no, ah! Ah! He barked at me. Okay, here. Okay, there we go, here. Okay, ah! Ah! Oh, that's nice. The breeze, it's so hot in there. Okay, buddy. Look at that, isn't that a beauty? That's a beautiful pig. Now, uh, I guess we get to go check out uh, the butcher shop. Yes, yeah, that's the next step in the process, so. And then it'll be ready for your... Little barbecue. Kitchen. Last stop for our barbecuables is the butcher shop, where I'm gonna be breaking down this Iron Age pig with my man, Fred. Hey, Fred. Hey, there you are. How are you, you good? Good yourself. Good, good, good. Can I get in there? Like that? Are you kidding? Yeah? Hell no. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to go butcher some pork. Okay, let's go. Ah! There she is. Oh, beautiful. Sick. Well, let's wheel this over to the cutting board. All right. Hey, John, how are you? There we go. So, what I'm thinking, some loin chops, some big pork chops with the pork belly still attached. Okay, it's not my first rodeo. It's not. <laughs> No, I don't think it is. When we grill these up on a nice charcoal grill, it's gonna get really fatty, really crispy. If your pork chops don't look like this, you're not living that pork chop life. Pleasure. Thank you. Fred. Hey, so big it's a pleasure, Matty. This guy, look at this guy's hand, it's insane. <laughs> it's like a bag of potatoes. After all that work, it's time to head over to my parents' house, Steve and Jones, the best parents I've ever had. Come on, Dad. I want to come in. All right. I what got you barbecue got? here. That's I got some stuff. beef and some pork. Hey, mommy. Beef and pork. I like pig and cow. These guys are my parents and the people that birthed me, raised me, and put me out into the world so you guys could enjoy me. So about 18 years, they got to hang with me. Solid hangs. My mom would literally grind fresh wheat and make flour and bread every morning with jam and butter. And so every morning, we would wake up to fresh baked bread and, you know, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I did. Yeah. I did. She can That's... cry. If I talk about her baking bread, she'll yeah. cry. See, who knew I was so fancy? Well, you're yeah. pretty fancy, I was before my time. When I was younger, I knew that I was going to be really famous, just really important to the world. Okay. You guys must be, you guys must be really be... proud of me, what I'm trying to say. Well, you... We're so proud now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in the beginning, I was like, what the f is this guy doing? Remember that one time in grade four, I pulled that knife on a kid? Yeah. Brought home by the cops. They. He... I got grounded for the whole f summer because of that. Ugh. You guys were brutal. Life is hard for a Matheson. Life is hard for a Matheson, but you know, we, we get to eat and we got food That's and right. we got lots of buddies and friendship. True. And a buddies. lot of stories. Yeah. That's right. We get people that know where the bodies are buried and that's it. That's, that's all that matters. What the f did you just say? I'm a busy guy, so it's great when I get to hang out with my parents and because they've got a big house with a big backyard, it's the perfect place for me to throw a barbecue. Marika and the whole squad are on their way, so it's almost time to get all the meat from Why You Ranch from Perth Pork on the grill. What's up? Bunch of bad boys on their little pussycats. Are you guys hungry? Welcome. Excellent looking crew. <laughs> you always need one girl in a biker gang. That's the thing that I've <laughs> learned, because it'll just be too aggro. I brought my man Ravenscroft. He's the chef of our catering company. He's also helping me put together all this food that we picked up along the way. We're roasting some pig face. We're grilling some giant ribeyes. My dad's a crazy barbecue dude, so he's got a smoker out back. We got Brian and Kathy from YU, Fred and Ingrid from Perth Pork. We're doing a bunch of veggies, salads, you name it, we got it. This is all the great stuff that's grown and raised in Ontario. It's my favorite food, cooked my favorite ways. I get to share it with my favorite people, my friends, my family. There's nothing better than a summer barbecue. Shout out to the trolls, shout out to the people that send me love, shout out to every single person wearing a shoe. I like shoes. Send me some shoes, all right. Peace, world peace. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my perfect television show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>